Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going on a journey through the world of oil paintings. Oil paintings can add a touch of beauty, elegancy to any room in your home. In this video, we'll be exploring the beauty, emotions, types and techniques that goes into creating this stunning work of art. I'll also be sharing with you tips to consider when choosing oil painting for your home deco. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. And my name is Alice and I create lifestyle, interior, fashion and DIY type of content. So let's get started in exploring different types of oil paintings. So we'll start by talking about the basics of oil painting. Oil painting is a process that involves using pigments, which are mixed with oil to create a range of colors and textures. The paint is then applied on a canvas or you can also use a board to do this. And also there's a variety of techniques that can be used to do this, such as brush strokes, glazing or in pastel. There are different types of oil paintings. Some are landscapes, portraits, still life or abstract. When it comes to landscapes, they are paintings that reflect the landscape or mountains or seaside. And this can create a calming atmosphere in your home or in any room that you decide to place the paint. And when it comes to portraits, um, these are types of portraits of your loved ones or historical places that can add a personal touch to your deco. And for still life, this is a painting of fruits or flowers or a historic figure that can add a personal touch to your deco. Abstract oil paintings tend to add a pop of color and energy to a room. Here are some of the things you need to consider while choosing an oil painting. Make sure you choose an oil paint that complements the color that is already in the room and does not clash but brings harmony. When it comes to style, make sure you choose an oil paint that reflects your personal style. This can be modern, traditional or abstract. The size of the oil paint is also important. Make sure you choose the size that fits the scale of your room and furniture. Also, don't forget to consider the frame of the oil painting because you don't want to go for something that is really highly decorated because it can look a little bit tacky. So just go for something that is simple frame that can create a more understated look. You also need to consider the lighting in the room where the oil painting will be displayed and try as much as possible to avoid placing the oil painting near the sunlight as the harsh lighting can damage the painting and you don't want that to happen. Also other things that you need to consider while displaying your oil painting is the wall that you're going to hang the wall painting. Make sure the wall is dirty and is not going to make your wall paint fall and get damaged. Also, as I've mentioned earlier on, avoid direct sunlight as sunlight kind of damage the paintings. And you can also use a UV filter glass or acrylic to protect your artwork. Make sure you dust your oil paint regularly to get rid of dust and dirt. You can use a soft cloth to do this. Also make sure you hang your oil painting at a comfortable viewing height, something around 57 to 60 inches from the floor that should do. And this is a bonus clip on where to buy oil paintings. You can buy oil paintings from your local art galleries and where you can also discover emerging artists and unique pieces. You can also buy them from online marketplaces I uh, bought a few from Facebook Marketplace. You can also buy them from eBay, Vinted, you know, any marketplaces that are good for buying secondhand product. You can also buy them from arts and fair and festivals. So make sure you check them out. Also, you can get them from home deco stores. So do try and pay them a visit. You'll be surprised on what you find. The things I love about oil paintings is that it focuses on capturing light. Some do capture color and others emphasizes on texture and details. They also have the power to evoke strong emotions and also can transport us back to another time or place and spark memories and emotions that we thought we never had. Always remember when choosing an oil painting for your home deco, trust your instincts and choose a piece that speaks to you and also 
kind of reflect your personal style. Hope you enjoyed the video and I've been able to convince you to start using oil paintings for your home decor. Initially I was not a big fan of oil paintings but as of now I've started collecting a few pieces for myself and I've been using them in different types of areas in my home. And I hope I've been able to convince you that you can also start collecting oil paintings and using them to decorate in your home. Thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.